Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Praise the Lord, mga kapatid. All things, mga kapatid, is possible in our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. So, ang title ng ating uh, mensahe, mga kapatid, sa hapong ito, Jesus, the Miracle Worker. Hallelujah. Let us worship, mga kapatid, the Miracle Worker, mga kapatid. The only God, hallelujah, that deserves the highest praise and glory. Hallelujah, yes, Jesus, oh God. You deserve the highest praise, Lord Jesus, oh God. You are our Miracle Worker, oh Lord. You are our healer. You are our deliverer.
can do a uh, group call or skinny call. You can see and you can talk. So it's not a miracle now because we already know the technology. Amen? But we back in 1940s, we don't know about the credit card video call. Pwede pa lang ganyan mga kapatid. So noon, milagro siya mga kapatid. Nung iniisip mo, at bigla na lang nandiyan na sa iyong tabi mga kapatid, I mean, nakikita mo siya na kahit siya ay nasa ibang bansa, masasabi mo may rapel. Pero ngayon mga kapatid, baka sabihin mo pa, pag tumawag ka video call, and then hindi siya sumagot, baka sabihin mo pa, ano kaya hindi nagawa ng asawa ko? Gumagawa kaya ng bilagro yun? Baliktad na mga kapatid. Masasabi na natin, it is miracle if we call them and they did not answer. Maybe dito, dito, dito ang miracle. Or maybe dito something. Alam nila yun. So that is a miracle mga kapatid. Kasi hindi natin alam. We do nothing. That's why we can say we will call a miracle. But in God, it's not a miracle because God know everything. He is omniscient. He is omnipresent. There is nothing higher to Him. Amen? So that's why He know everything, mga kapatid. Kaya walang milagro sa Panginoon. Amen? Kung titignan mga dati, mga kapatid, nung the early ministry of Jesus was filled with one miraculous act after another. So na makaraming milagro ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon, mga kapatid, is not only in the Old Testament, but it is in the New Testament. And until now, He do a lot of miracles. Amen? Sinabi mga kapatid, in the book of Acts chapter 1, 1 mga kapatid, chapter, uh, chapter Acts 1, 1, na mga kapatid, kung isulat mo ang lahat ng milagro na ginawa ng ating Panginoon, Hindi po makontain all the books, mga kapatid, cannot contain if uh, we write completely the miracle that God uh, do it. Kasi mga kapatid, napakarami ng ginawa ng ating Panginoon na milagro, mga kapatid, na hindi nasusulat sa Biblia. Amen? Amen? Pero ang aking ipa, uh, isi-share sa inyo, mga kapatid, ito ay um, miracle, mga kapatid, na na sa Biblia, na isulat mga kapatid. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, napakaraming milagro. And everything about Jesus is miraculous. Amen? Amen. Because He do a miracle because He is a miraculous God. Amen? Amen. His birth, His ministry, His uh, ascension, and his, his resurrection, and His ascension is a miracle. Kung hindi siya gagawa ng miracle, mga kapatid, paano natin masasabi na siya ay miraculous God? Because He is a miracle. Amen? That's why He do a miracle. Why He do a miracle, mga kapatid? For the needs of people. Amen? Hallelujah! At ang Diyos na yan, mga kapatid, na gumagawa ng mga bagay na kamangha-mangha, mga kapatid, ay siyang Diyos na pinagilingkuran natin. Ay siyang Diyos, mga kapatid, na nandito right now, na sinasamba at pinupuri mga kapatid, hallelujah He can make a greater things in our life, mga kapatid patuloy lang tayo na maglilingkod sa Kanya, He is our great provider, He is our hallelujah uh, provide, mga kapatid for our needs He is a, he is a God who supply, mga kapatid hallelujah, and He is a Jehovah Jireh He is our Jehovah Jireh that provides our need. Amen? Supply our needs. So kung titignan natin mga kapatid in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1 to 7. John 1 uh, John 2 verse 1 to 11. Amen? So tingnan natin. John 2 verse 1 1 to 11. So, aking basahin mga kapatid yung John 2, 1 to 11. On the third day, there was a new race in Cana. Basahin mga kapatid. Again mga kapatid, basahin po natin. The third day, there was a new race in Cana. And the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus and when he wanted wine, the mother of 
natin the first miracle that Jesus performed. So, anong meron dito, mga kapatid? There is a weaving fiesta, mga kapatid, or may kasalan. And then, what happened during the fiesta, mga kapatid? They are lack of wine. Sila ay tinulang, mga kapatid, ng inumin dahil, of course, mga kapatid, they celebrate, di ba? Ng kasal, mga kapatid. So, habang sila ay nag-celebrate, mga kapatid, ng kasal, ay tinulang ng uh, inumin. Jesus was there. He is invited and also ang kanyang mga disciples and also Mary, the mother of Jesus, is there. So, nung tinulang, mga kapatid, ito si Mary ay pumunta kay Joseph. At sinabi niya na wala na kulang ako ng inumin. Amen. Praise the Lord. Dahil siguro mga kapatid, maraming mga bisita ang dumating. Amen. Like in the Philippines mga kapatid, is the, there is a wedding party. Everybody is invited. <laughs> Even though you will invite 30 people, but almost one barangay will come. Yes, most especially in the barrios area. Maybe it's not like in America or China that if you invite 30 people and then only 30 people can come because they have only the invitation. But in the Philippines, no, it's different, most especially in the barrio. If you heard the song, if you heard the music, it's a party. Even though you are not invited, you need to invite yourself. Why? It is kainan, mga kapatid. Is it time, you know? There's a lot of this. There's a fun, you know, Philippines, you know? Kaya sa Pilipinas, mga kapatid, lalo na sa barangay. Kasi alam nila na may kainan. So, kahit ako mo, mga kapatid, pagpunta ka, kain ako, mga kapatid. So, like in the story, mga kapatid, dahil maraming tao, they are lack of wine. There is me. Ang kailangan ay alak, mga kapatid, dahil sila ay naubusan ng alak. So, ano ang ginawa, mga kapatid, ni Mary? Siya ay pumunta sa kay Jesus. And maybe Joseph is already died because there is no mention of, Jesus, of Joseph. So, kapag wala ka ng asawa, ang unang lalapitan mo, mga kapatid, yung panganay na anak. So, si Mary lumapit kay Jesus. At si Jesus, ang sabi ni Mary, mga kapatid, sa servant, the servant have a very important role. Why? Kasi mga kapatid, sila mga kapatid ay sinabihan ni Mary na kung ano ang sasabihin ni Jesus, sila mga kapatid ay sumunod. They need to obey what Jesus instructed or instruction. Amen? That's why sabi ng Panginoon, punuin ng, uh, I mean punuin ng tubig. Di ko ba? yung uh, 14, mga kapatid. Sunog si Sunog, ila ng tubig, mga kapatid. You think, mga kapatid, nung, when, when they pour out the water into the water pot, uh, the the water is being turned into wine? Not yet, mga kapatid, because there is another instruction. So, the second instruction, mga kapatid, give it or serve it to the governor. So when they give to the governor, to the governor, mga kapatid, that's the time that the water turned into wine. Why? Because the complete obedience is necessary. Complete obedience, mga kapatid, ay mahalaga upang magkaroon ng milagro. So when the governor tastes the 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 wine, mga the water, mga kapatid, actually water, the the taste is yummy. It's not only yummy, mga kapatid, but it is excellent. Napakasarap ng mga kapatid ng lasa ng wine. Na ito ang unang milagro na ginawa ng ating panginoon. The water turned into wine. Amen. At pagkatapos noon, mga kapatid. Na, na naging wine na mga kapatid, yung mga disciples, mga kapatid, ay naniwala sa milagro ng ginawa ng ating Panginoon dahil kanilang nakikita, mga kapatid. So what do you think, mga kapatid, if the servant did not obey the command of the Lord? Maybe, mga kapatid, hindi siya magiging wine. So ang mahalaga dito, mga kapatid, before the miracle will happen, mga kapatid, we need to obey completely. Amen? Amen. Kailangan natin sumunod sa ating Panginoon, mga kapatid, upang maranasan natin ang milagro ng ating Panginoon. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. The center came, mga kapatid,
pray for the obedient mga the center pray mga kapatid ng miracle is obedient amen because without obedient mga kapatid there is no miracle amen yeah. kailangan natin sumunod sa Panginoon mga kapatid upang maranasan natin ang milagro ng ating Panginoon miracle happen when we have a complete obedience to the word of the Lord even for us mga kapatid even we don't have a savings even though you don't have the mansion or property mga kapatid but if you have obedience to the Lord it is more than gold and silver amen hallelujah sometimes in our life we get lost sometimes mga kapatid naniniwala nawawala tayo sa focus in first we obey the Lord but along the way mga kapatid we lost Along the way, our mission and our birth, uh, our mission and vision, mga kapatid, nakakalimutan natin. Why we are here now? What is the purpose? What is the reason, mga kapatid, na kung bakit tayo ay nagtatrabaho? Kung bakit tayo nagpapakahirap, mga kapatid, na malayo sa pamilya natin? Kung bakit tayo nagtitiis at nangunghila, mga kapatid? Kung minsan nakakalimutan natin kung ano yung mga kapatid, because along the way mga kapatid, sa ating paglalakbay maraming mga sagabal at ito mga kapatid ay naging hadlang mga kapatid upang mga kapatid ma ma-direct natin kung ano talaga ang ating misyon in our life. Hallelujah. Living in this world is not, it not easy. We feel tired, we feel hard, right. we, feel, we feel frustrated, in fact, discouraged, mga kapatid. We, but we need to keep on. We need to keep, oh, mga kapatid, and we look unto Jesus, that the God who do a miracle in right. our life, mga kapatid. Yeah. If we want a miracle, mga kapatid, in our life, we need to obey Him. It's not just obey, but obey Him completely. Amen. Amen. His word, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. God already do a miracle in our life. Amen. God or, already changed our life, mga kapatid, from being darkness into His marvelous light, mga kapatid. Until now, God is continue to working in our life, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. That's why we need to obey His word. That's why we need to follow Him, mga kapatid. Dahil ang Diyos noon, the God yesterday is the God, and the God today and forever is still the same. He is the same, mga kapatid, today and forever. Hallelujah. And there is nothing impossible with God. Amen. Any problems or trials or 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what is the event, mga kapatid? There is a great multitude of people following Jesus. Amen? So kasi na sumusunod, mga kapatid, ka Jesus. They follow Him in the desert. Sabi siya ito. It's not in the city, but in desert place. Desert. So ano nga, ma, ano natin sa, what, what we expect in desert, mga kapatid? Sa desert, ano po yung ma-expect natin? We expect nothing. Why? There is no market there. There is no bus. There is no building. There is no everything. But, nothing. Kasi desert siya, mga kapatid. So, wala tayong makikita, wala tayong maasahan sa desert. Only, but the heat of the sun. Amen? There is no covering. It is bother, ba, it is ba, barrenness, mga kapatid. Walang wala. But, they still follow Jesus. Even in the place, mga kapatid, that there is nothing. But if there is Jesus, you have everything. Amen? Yeah. Sometimes, you don't have a budget, mga kapatid. But you're still going to the church. You're still praying, you're still worshiping God, mga kapatid. You're still going what God wants you to do, mga kapatid. Na kahit ikaw ay walang wala na, mga kapatid. Kahit, mga kapatid, pangkain mo, wala ka na. Pero ikaw ay nagpapatuloy pa rin, mga kapatid. Kasi kung minsan, dumarating sa time na that, that, that the, we are nothing, mga kapatid. So that we will know that God will provide everything. Amen? And then, what happened? So nung sila ay sumunod sa ating Panginoon, sila ay gutong na. They are so hungry. Why? Already tried this? Tried this already that they follow Jesus. How about us? How many years we follow Jesus? So many, many years, mga kapatid. Already got a miracle? Amen? Praise the Lord. Try this na sila, mga kapatid, na gutong dahil sila ay sumusunod sa ating Panginoon. And Jesus looked upon them and was moved with compassion and mercy. So nung tinignan ng ating Panginoon, mga kapatid, siya ay naawa. Siya ay nahabag, mga kapatid. Dahil ito ay pagod na. Dahil gutong na, mga kapatid. Sobrang init. Napakahirap ng sitwasyon, mga kapatid. So nahabag ang ating Panginoon. But the disciples say, they told to Jesus that uh, he need to um, palisin na. Ano yung tawag naman? Inglis? Yeah, palisin na mga kapatid. Why? Kasi gutaw na, walang pagkain. There is no village uh, to buy the food, mga kapatid. That's why they come to the disciples, send them away. Yun pala yung English. Send them away, mga kapatid. Send them away. Kasi wala na nga pagkain, mga kapatid. Sila ay gutaw na. Pero ano lang meron, mga kapatid? Kasi nga, kailangan nila ng pagkain. Yes? They need food. In our physical body, we need food. But there is no food, mga kapatid. So how many people is there? They are 5,000 people, except the women and children. So the women, mga kapatid, like us, so we are women. So many women. So if, if they count the men, only 500, 5,000 plus women and children. So, so many people, mga kapatid. And there is only little boy. Wow. It's very good to the little boy. Because the little boy, mga kapatid, mayroon, siya, mayroon only available, available na food is five loaf and two fish. How can we explain or it is enough for the, for the many multitude of people to feed the only five fish and uh, two, two fish? Of course not, because that only baon is for the little boy. It's for the lunch only of the little boy. But he gave, he gave to the Lord, mga kapatid. Yun lang ang mayroon sila, yung walang wala eh. If we are, walang wala na talaga, mga kapatid, yun na yung pinaka, the best na maibigay nila, mga kapatid. So ano ang nangyari, mga kapatid? How was the miracle performed? The little boy did what he had to Jesus. 
Jesus looked up to heaven, blessed the food, broke it, and gave to his disciples, where they instructed to minister to the crowd. Sinabi ng ating Panginoon sa kanya mga disciple, ito, mga kapa, ito ang pagkain, i-distribute nyo, ibigay nyo. And then the disciples obey mga kapatid, even though they know that only five and two fish. But the time mga kapatid that they obey the, the word of God, with the time that they give the food mga kapatid, it multiplied. The more mga kapatid na kukuha ang kakain, the more mga kapatid na nadagtagan yung pagkain. So mga kapatid, patuloy mga kapatid na kumain yung mga tao until na sila ay nabusok. Maybe mga kapatid, if they did not stop eating, the food did not, uh, did not stop multiplying. Because the food mga kapatid, sige lang ng sige mga kapatid. Maraming pagkain and all of them filled. Nabusog sila mga kapatid. Nung nabusog sila mga kapatid, mayroon pang natira. Di ko ba? Ilan na natira sa binasa natin? Well, but six mga kapatid. What a miracle of God mga kapatid. Na ang tat ng limang tinapay mga kapatid at dalawang isda ay kumain ng maraming mga tao at mayroon pang natira. by a boy bringing what he had to Jesus, which was blessed by the Lord. Ito, mga kapatid, ay pagsunod lamang mga kapatid ng isang bata at pagsunod mga kapatid ng disciple. Amen? Hallelujah. So mga disipulo, mga kapatid, ay hindi sila, uh, hindi sila mga kapatid ng doubt na ipamigay yung mga pagkain. Amen? So that is all, and the lesson, mga kapatid, everyone, was filled. At mayroon na katira ang mga kapatid. So it means, mga kapatid, if what we have, we need to give to Jesus. Amen? Kasi mga kapatid, ito ay pagpalain ng ating Panginoon. Ito ay multiply ng ating Panginoon, mga kapatid. We need to bring our all to Jesus. Dahil mga kapatid, kung minsan isipin natin, is not enough, is not enough, mga kapatid. But if we give it to the Lord, mga kapatid, ito mga kapatid, ay more than enough. Amen. Amen. Kasi ang Diyos, mga kapatid, ay patuloy na gumagawa ng milagro, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. And now, today, mga kapatid, this moment, what we have now, I know you don't have I look there or fish, mga kapatid. But you have worship. But you have, mga kapatid, your service to our Lord, our obedience to His word, mga kapatid. We need to give to Jesus, mga kapatid. Everything that we have, mga kapatid. Our plan, we need to surrender to Him, mga kapatid. Our salary. Yes, mga kapatid. Amen. We need to give to Jesus. Lord, this is only my salary. And this one, 10% is yours. And this one, 2,000 is for my family. Because this one only 5,000, Lord. So this one, 500 is for my insurance. 200 or 500. 
Kilar.